So in this video, it is believed that the number of people entering a supermarket has a plus on distribution, with an average rate of three customers every 20 minutes. William observed the supermarket on 100 different days for 20 minute periods and found the following results. So what this table is showing you is that there were 100 trips to the supermarket. Okay, so the total frequency should be 100. And on 23 of those trips, three people were observed coming into the supermarket in a 20 minute period. Okay, so determine whether or not this could be modelled using a Poisson distribution. So does this appear to be right as a Poisson distribution? Now this is kind of laying the groundwork for looking at goodness of fit tests, which is what we're going to do in the next section after this. Um, but what can we do with our current understanding? Well, what I could do is I could work out the mean and variance of this frequency table, of this data, and then I could see whether those two numbers are similar or not. So I'm going to go to menu, I'm going to go to number six, statistics, one variable, and make sure you've got the frequency column uh, on the right hand side. If you don't have the frequency column, then you need to go shift and then menu, so that goes into the setup. Then scroll down until you see number three statistics and then turn the frequency on. Okay, so that's for the Casio class wins. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so 5, 15, 22, 23, 17, 10, 5, 2, 1, and 0. Okay, so I've got my data plugged into my calculator. I go to option, so top left, option key, and then number three, one variable calculation. And what I'm getting is x bar, the mean, is 2.98. Now, the question then is, should I be using sigma squared for the variance or s squared for the variance? Well, really, we should be using s squared. Now, S squared represents the sample variance because this is a sample. Sample has been taken. So we should be using S squared here, not sigma squared. So S squared is 2.89 to 3 uh, significant figures. So to 3 sig fig. Now, because x bar and s squared here, so your mean and variance, are reasonably similar, you may well come to the conclusion that actually, yeah, okay, so well with the Poisson distribution, we know that the mean and variance are both lambda. Um, they're both close to the three uh, that was identified here. So a Poisson distribution appears to be um, a good fit for this. Now obviously we're not doing the goodness of fit test on it, but we can at least bring these two points in here and use that as evidence um, to support that this does appear to be a Poisson distribution.